We start with our player of the week. Pisgah's Daniel Van Varenberg packs a big wallop on a small frame. His outstanding play helped the Bears knock off rival Tuscola last Friday. Luke Notstein introduces us to our News 13 player of the week, Daniel Van Varenberg. The atmosphere at Pisgah Tuscola Games is unlike anything else you can experience on a Friday night. To win the game in overtime is something that these players will remember forever. It was crazy. It, you, you can't feel it until the game's over with and the feelings hit you after you're done with football. You look back at it and it's the greatest feeling in life. While the defense made the plays of the game, stopping Tuscola on the final two plays, it was running back Daniel Van Varenberg, who was the constant force in between the tackles, rushing for 138 yards and a touchdown. I'm very happy. My teammates went out there and busted it. The coaches went out there and busted it, and the fans came out there and backed us. He is a workhorse. He's 150 pounds soaking wet, and he is a typical Canton kid. He's tough as nails. Uh, he's able to carry the rock 30 times a game and, and just keep feeding him. He wants it more. His teammates Houston Rogers and Trey Morgan played a big part in Friday night's win, hooking up for this incredible touchdown in the back of the end zone. Even they are impressed with their running back's ability to get the job done. It gives me a lot of confidence to hand off someone like that who uh, line goes and makes plays for him, makes holes, and he finds the holes and makes plays. Oh, it's great. It starts with our line, and Daniel, he just uh, he gets to that line, he tries to find the seam, and once he does, you know, it's off to the races. The next chance for Van Varenberg and his Pisgah teammates to make big plays will be Friday night at North Henderson. I'm Luke Notestop for News 13 Sports. And the latest AP prep football poll is out. Really no change for Mountain Schools. Five teams in, and three eighths. Reynolds still sixth, Asheville eighth. 1A, 8 no Mitchell is 6th, while Robbinsville 9th, Murphy 10th. Big day for many area prep women's golfers. The 1A, 2A regionals play today at Etowah Valley Golf Club with a chance to go to state. Teams from all over the West region, including local schools like Hendersonville, the host team, Avery, Smoky Mountain, Franklin, Murphy, Cherokee Highlands. A little bit of a late start due to a frost delay, but then on a beautiful day, they got a chance to play. Henderson played the best, gets first place, score of 283. Avery second, Highland Tech third. State tournament Monday and Tuesday at Southern Pines. Also, Callista Rice of North Buncom High won the regional championship held in Charlotte today with a one underscore of 71. She'll play in the state championships next week in Pinehurst.